Hello my fellow weasel droids, welcome back. In this video I would like to give you a very quick introduction about my R2D2 rig. But first things first, all the credits for the model and the textures are going to videocopilot.net. Because this R2D2 model is part of a pack you can download over at videocopilot.net. It's called the free Star Wars model pack and it includes a couple other models you can see all here and it's totally free to download. The only thing you might want to consider is also downloading the JPEG files because of course this is from videocopilot.net so it's actually meant to be for Element 3D and they use DDS files for that. So download the model and with the JPEGs you can actually use it in every other 3D application. So back to the rig. This is uh, fairly quick because it's not really too complicated. So we click on our R2D2 um, root null and we also get a tab here. So let's start with the tools because he got provided with a couple of them. So we got one front tool here. It's not really a tool, it's like, I don't know what you can do with this. It's like, maybe you can hold something. Yeah, so we got two thingies here and then we got a tool on his left side. So you open the door and then there's one tool coming out here. This is probably not 100% accurate, but this is how they built it. And um, it might be enough for a couple of uh, distant effects. And then he got a, another tool on the right side. Same thing, not very detailed and um, probably not 100% accurate, but for distancing, probably fine. Okay, so this, those are tools, that's not too much. So let's go over to the head. And this one is of course uh, freely in one direction, turnable. Um, let's put that back to zero. And then we got the, a couple of lights, and projectors. I'm not really sure if those are projectors. That's just what I call them. So um, we got the front light here. Uh, you can turn it on and off or make it like super bright whenever he's getting like really angry. And of course you can change the color to whatever you want. And the same goes for the backlight here. So this one is like right here. And yes, then he got a couple of LEDs and this is uh, actually made by me. This was, this part of the texture was not provided. I actually animated those LEDs because I just thought, you know, it might look kind of boring when they're just still. And so um, the same ones are over here. Not, not the same ones, but you know, LEDs. And so this LED speed in frames per second just lets you determine how fast you actually want those LEDs to change. So if you go like on a 30 frames per second in a 30 frames per second comp, then this is gonna change like every second. So then let's go down to the projectors. Um, this is pretty straightforward too. We got, can move them around and of course we can change the brightness and of course we can change the color so and these goes for all three of those dingy he has on his head so there's one on the top and there's one on the back okay so this is all the stuff on his head and then let's go over to the body and there's a couple of options here so first of all, when you open this up, you will find a target in here, which is an IK target because he's actually IK rigged. So the first slider here is an FK IK slider. So you can switch between IK and FK and then the IK is not working anymore, of course, because it's FK right now, which will activate those options down here. So you got the tilt one over here and you got the rotate one, which is the body like right over here and if you activate IK again then he goes back so this might you also can make like a really nice and smooth transition between those um, there is a little checkbox right here which is called IK auto height adjustment because let's go into the side view for this one um, if you look closely whenever I move the IK forward you see that actually is third foot or whatever it is um, is 
think is sinking into the ground. I didn't have a really good idea how to prevent that. So what I did is just um, made a little uh, expresso option in here that to a certain extent is preventing that. So if you check this, then the height is gonna be calculated automatically and you're only able to scoop this back and forth, but it should stay on uh, the same level for most of the time. This is not perfect by any means, not perfect at all, but it should do the trick for most options. And if you want to check this again, then you're actually free again to move him around and make and do whatever. Then the other thing is that you see that his foot is always um, pointing down. So we go into the third leg here and you have this checkbox here, which is called face floor. So no matter what you do, if you take the icane, this is always gonna face the floor. Since R2-D2 is actually most of the time, also in the movies, only driving around on like really flat surfaces because he's just not made for heavy terrain and anything like that, this should work. But just in case, you can turn this off, of course, and then you're free to move his foot around all by yourself. And the last thing is just, of course, he can uh, extend his uh, leg or just um, put it back in. What's the English word for that? I'm sorry. Yeah, and I think it's 77% where I should floor it quite well. So this is already it. Uh, not much to it, actually. Um, of course, this comes in a physical version you see here and in an Octane version and is, as always, free to download with the option for donation. So please have fun and um, please come find me if you have uh, any questions or if you used it actually and uh, let me see what you did with it. Uh, you find me on Twitter, you find me on Reddit and um, yeah, looking forward to it. Other than that, if you like the video, you might want to check out my YouTube channel, might even subscribe and I see you soon. Bye.